once there was a lonely three-toed sloth Working all about in the undergrowth Everyone ignored him as if he wasn't there So the three-toed sloth was driven to despair So he climbed to the top of the tallest tree And he cried, why won't anybody talk to me? <laughs> Do me feet pong, do me nostrils leak, does me breath pong, do me armpits reek. Oh, I can't work out why I'm ignored. I might as well take up the blooming out to go. What do you think, Katie? Ah! <laughs> Angelo, look what you've done in my good shoes, you great big steaming stummer. Ooh. Hey, they really suit you, that colour. Out, out, out! Oh! Is that all you can say? Oh, hi, Mikey. What's new? Charming. <laughs> What's new, Mikey Moo? What's new, Mikey Moo? Oh, the red. Hey? The blue shirt or the red one, Angelo? Oh, well, I have always been a big fan of red. Blue it is! <laughs> Who'd have believed it, huh? Me and Jennifer Pike. I must be dreaming. Should I wear a tie? Oh, definitely. You're right. Forget the tie. Only a geek could go to the movies wearing a tie. Ah, uh, <laughs> big date, eh? Me and Jennifer Pike in the back row of the multiplex. I guarantee we'll melt every chalk ice in the whole place. Should I wear aftershave? Just be yourself. That's my advice. Your advice? On dating a girl? Like taking Winnie the Pooh's advice on how to lose weight. I was only saying... Hey, I... will you get out of here? I'm trying to get changed. Mm, in other words, Angelo, go and drown yourself in the dishwasher. I didn't say that. <laughs> but Oh, Jinx! Oh, a custard one! Hey, I'll clean those. <laughs> hey, I've got some smashing stuff in a bottle upstairs. Removes anything. Great! Put over yourself! <laughs> there must be someone on this planet I can have a conversation with. It's just a question of finding them. <laughs> Who do we have ringing in on line one? Hello, uh, my name's Herman. Howdy doody, Herm. How are you doing? Uh, not very well, thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear it, Herm. Hey, what's up? Uh, I've got a problem with my tortoise. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, you need to speak to... Pete Proctor, the pet doctor! <clears throat> uh, howdy, Herm. Pete Proctor, the pet doctor here, mate. <laughs> now, uh, what's the problem? Uh, it's my tortoise, Dr. Carter. Oh, it's not him. What about me? I can't sleep a week with that shell backing up and down all night long. Tell me, what, mate. Have you ever tried making yourself a ten foot high pyramid out of paper toilet rolls? <laughs> Sticking a little tortoise on top? Well, that curious enough. No, it'll pass the time until the morning. <laughs> oh, and uh, who do we have bringing in our line, too? Oh. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Hi, Mike. You're back early. Short film. Long story. What's the matter? Nothing. Funny looking nothing. Don't tell me the date was a flop. Not at all. It was a roaring success. Huh? At least it was for Tony McQueen. So did this guy come between you and Jennifer? Right between us, in seat number 39. Well, how did that happen? I made the stupid mistake of getting up to buy some popcorn. When I got back, Tony McQueen had grabbed my seat and grabbed my date. Oh, Mike, that's awful. Well, I must say, you're taking it very well. The only mature thing to do at a time like this is sit down, quietly, and work out the best way to wipe the grin off that smug little creep show's face. Mike. 
Is that wise? Nobody messes with Michael Mason who used to tell a tale. Tony McQueen, you are the disease and I'm the cure. I'll fix you, pal. See if I don't. Right? Hello, hello, turn on to Radio Angelo. Morning, Angelo. What's up, pal? <laughs> Angelo, talk to us. We're not fluent in body language. <laughs> Mike, what's he saying? <laughs> A sparrow flew out of my shirt sleeve. <laughs> A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. No, no, no. I've got it. He's lost something. <sighs> what have you lost, Angelo? Wait a minute, what are we doing? It's obvious. He's lost his voice. You've lost your voice? Ha, then dreams can come true. What's the problem, Angelo? Everybody loses their voice sometimes, so what? <laughs> Whisper it to me, pal. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, Angelo, can't help you. I got a bunch of stuff to do. Okay. Sure. What's he saying? Katie, he wants to ask you a big, big favor. Oh, yeah. What's that? <laughs> no. No, Angelo. The answer's no, N-O, no. <laughs> so what? Rollicking Radio Angelo's off the air for the day. Who cares? Okay, who else cares? Five spotty Herberts from Cricklewood. And for that, you'd have me sitting up here spouting rubbish till the cows come home. Forget it. Anyway, it's illegal. You can't broadcast without a licence. <laughs> How do you have a licence? And will you please cut out the Bambi impressions? Remember what happened to his poor old mother? Oh, right, right. I'll do it for 20 minutes and no more. <laughs> How does this stupid thing work anyway? What am I going to say? Ah, oh, what a pile of drivel. I'm not spouting this bunker. <laughs> Hello, hello, turn on, tune in to Radio Angelo. Good morning, Crickerwood. Call now if there's something you want to talk about. You know the number, so get those digits dialing. And who's this on line one? Go ahead, you're on the air. Uh, hello, it's me again, Herman. <laughs> oh. Yeah, morning, Herman. What's bugging you now? Well, I took Dr. Proctor's stupid advice, didn't I? I built a pyramid out of toilet rolls and stuck me tortoise at the top. What happened? He fainted. Your tortoise feet. I had to give him the kiss of life. You kissed your tortoise? Well, now, that's real interesting stuff, Herman. You keep in touch now. Bye. <laughs> and who's next on the line? Hello there, me hearty. My name be Kelvin Kilbride. Hi, Kelvin. It's Katie. Uh, Katie, I'd just like to say, I think you'll be blooming marvellous. Well, that's very nice. Thanks. You've got a wonderful voice for the radio. Most people say I've got a wonderful face for the radio. <laughs> I do listen to phone-ins all the time, I does, and believe you me, you be one of the best. You got me blushing now, Kelvin. I'll tell all my friends to tune in to your marvellous programme. Oh, well, that's great, Kelvin. Good grief, the calls are coming thick and fast now, listeners. Oh, if you feel like a chat and a laugh, ho, 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 be sure not to miss the Katie Andrews Show. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Uh. 
do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. The voice is back, and so am I. Quiet, you mind down here? Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much for stepping in, Katie. But now you wouldn't mind I stepping do. out. Who's next on the line? Hi there, who's there? It's me again. Oh, hello, Herman. What a surprise. Oh, What's howdy, you? Herman. How's life in the fast lane with old lettuce bread? Hi! Do you mind? Don't butt in like that. It's so rude. Go away. This is my show. Agile of a moose. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, Herman. Slight technical hitch there. Go ahead. Agile! I'm just putting up this bookshelf. Switch that thing off! Oh, no. Switch off! Thank you. What's the big idea? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Sorry, Herman. You were saying. Well. Ah! Is this any better? Right. Give me that. Mm? You pathetic big baby. What? <laughs> Just because the listening public likes me better than they like you. Oh, they do not. You too. They do not. Do get out of my attic. This is my attic. Then get out of your attic. I'm the middle of the show here. I'm sorry, but I am not budging from this spot. <laughs> And that's what you get for being so unbelievably childish. What was all that about? It's Katie. She's taken over my show. I've been ousted, cast asunder. Never mind that, Angelo. Come here. I need your help. How good at you at faking other people's longhand? Huh? Here's the plan. We copy Jennifer Pike's handwriting. We write a drop-dead letter to Tony McQueen. Something like, Dear Tony, I'd like to say that you're handsome, witty, and charming. But why lie? I hate your guts, so get out of my face forever, you disgusting creep. Love, Jennifer. Can you do it? Ooh, I'll show her. Show her what? I'll teach her a lesson. That's what I'll do. <laughs> and now it's time for Katie's cookery class. Flour, milk, eggs, cheese, all go into Katie's recipes. And today's tasty treat, Mississippi mud pie. Mm. It's a taste explosion. Well, anyway, I just wanted to say, no hard feelings, Jennifer. Tony's a nice guy. I suppose. I guess I'll see you around, huh? Where's Angelo? Where is he? Where is he hiding? I think he's in the shed. Why? Right, Tony! Next, crack 14 eggs into a bowl, then add the chocolate buttons. Ha! Now, if you... Found it! What's all this? Excuse me, I'm in the middle of my Mississippi mud pie. That's my recipe, you copycat! No, it isn't, sourpuss. What have you done to my radio station? Oh, a little interference, eh? Oh, Radio Angelo must have accidentally knocked you off air. That was no accident, you fiendish oh. bit wazzle! Oh. Hey, will you two please stop this? What are you playing at? I mean, get a grip, will you? Don't tell it to me, Mike. Tell it to him. <laughs> Katie! I'm sorry, dear listeners. Now, where were we? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. All you gotta do is whisk up the eggs, then chop up the chocolate buttons. Then... Angelo! Excuse me once again, dear listeners. What? I mean it. Cut this out. Go and tell Katie you're sorry. But I'm not sorry, am I? What's to be sorry for? I haven't done anything. Now, Mike, I'm rather busy. Would you excuse me, please? <laughs> oh, and we have a call coming through on line one. Go ahead, dear Angelo fan. You're on the air. Oh, hello. I'd just like to say I think you're utterly abysmal. <laughs> you really are the absolute hit salesman. You're appalling. Right for beyond belief. <laughs> so what I say is bring back that Katie woman. She was much better than you, and everybody I know agrees. Bring back Katie! <laughs> At. None of your business, Mike. Keep out. This is a war zone. <laughs> Hello there, Angelo. You really are rank bad, you know. Of all the rotten radio stations in all the world, I had to tune on a yours. Is that so? Oh, yes, and I'll tell you something, eh? <laughs> Shameful. Foxy. 
underhanded shenanigans. Katie Andrews, how could you? Well, you started it. You knocked me off the air. <gasps> you nicked my show. That's because my show's better than your show. My show's head and shoulders better than your shoulders. Well, we'll just see, won't we? May the best radio station win. You're on. And I'm off. <laughs> Hi, it's Radio Katie back on the air. And now, listeners, welcome to Dear Katie! Welcome to Dear Angelo. Hey, if you've got any problems... Let me have that mic! It's mine! No, give me! Give me! Give me! Hello? Hello? Radio Katie! Radio Angelo! Hi there. My name's Mike Mason. Mike? Mikey. What do you want? I'm phoning in because I've got a problem. Oh, yeah. Hey, I know what this is all about. It's uh, Jennifer Pike, right? No, it's not Jennifer. I know what it is. It's that Tony McQueen, isn't it? Nope, it's not Tony McQueen either. Ah, uh, hey, so what is the problem, Mikey? My problem is this, and it's a serious one. Are you two listening carefully to me? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. If a crocodile chews off a man's leg, then gobbles down six one-legged men's feet, then for dessert gulps down a centipede, how many toes would you find in the crocodile's belly? I'm sorry? Say that again? Come on, you two are supposed to know all the answers to everything. What's the answer? Uh, all right, okay, I can figure this out. It's easy. Oh, yeah, so can I. Simple pimple. Let me see now, that's five one-legged men. Six, Angelo, six. Five, six legs. Six one-legged men. Oh, well that's six legs times five toes. That's 35 toes. Uh, that's 30 toes, Katie. Sorry, 30 toes. Plus two more legs from the two-legged man. Ah, that's ten more toes. That's 40 toes so far. Plus all the extra toes on the centipede. Uh, now, let's see. That's 100 legs times five toes. That's 500 extra toes. Centipedes don't have toes. Uh, in that case, we've done it. 40 toes. Forty toes? Correct! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I have another one for you. If two old friends fall out, because they both want to do the same thing, why don't they do it together? Well, what do you say, Angelo? Hmm. I say. Hello. Hello, turn on, tune into Radio Katie and Angelo. <laughs> Good morning, Crickleworm! <laughs> look at me. I'm supposed to be going for an audition for a job. I'm going to walk in there looking like the bottom of a bread bin. No joy, huh? Oh. It's just getting embarrassing. I mean, when I can't even get a part as a singing pee. Mike! What? Here, in the newspaper. Celebrated film director Neville, Neville Grimm Grin. is in London looking for an actress to play the lead in his forthcoming movie. When he sees these gorgeous photos, he'll be round here before you can say, Lights! Actione! Camera! 